One thing for sure is 2023 has been a test for people. It will continue to be and probably into 2024. And a lot of it has to do with the test of our mindset, our confidence, and maybe a lot of people feeling defeated. Not maybe, I get to talk to a lot of people. And, and I can tell you, it comes down to one major issue. And it comes down to people not hitting their goals, not tracking towards their production projections, towards their revenue projections, towards their profit projections. And here's the issue. The issue is then what happens is confidence and mindset and mental toughness are tested. And, and I'll tell you this, quite frankly, mental toughness in business, you know, I think the only thing that people had to really, really do over the last four or five years was just put in a lot of hours to be reactionary, respond to everything that's happening. But but now those things aren't happening. And now we've got to dig deeper. And, and now many, most aren't going to hit their goals. Well, here's what I'm here to tell you today is your issue. And it's an issue for 99% of human beings is your goals are actually what are keeping you from your goals. Let me say it again. Your obsession with your goals is what is keeping you from hitting those goals, those outcomes, those victories that you desire. And, and by the way, have you ever noticed people who accomplish this big goal? Many people, you've seen the stories in all different industries. Maybe it's happened to yourself. People hit the goal and it's like, oh my gosh, I put all this in just to arrive here. And now here I am. Now what? And you'll watch people tank. They'll tank their business the next year. They'll tank their life. I mean, we've seen it time and again publicly, and you've probably seen it privately with people that you know. Here's the problem. Your goal is the problem, and it's the reason you're not hitting your goal, because here's what I know about the one percenters. The one percenters, certainly they have that vision. They have that picture of where they're going and what the outcomes are going to be. But then here's what they do. They detach emotionally from the outcome and they are obsessed with the daily process. And let me tell you something right now. Have you paid attention? Have you paid attention to what everyone started saying back in January at events online? It's back to basics. You've got to do the things that you didn't want to do. Well, why did you ever stop doing those things? See, that's why a small percentage of people, very, very small, are doing really, really well. That's why they say, that this is a time when more millionaires will be made in a changing down market because people are so emotionally attached to the outcome, they are not obsessed with the process. See, everything, your hopes, dreams, and desires that you are just totally obsessed with are on the other side of boundaries. They're on the other side of restrictions. They're on the other side of discipline, commitment, uncomfortable things, mundane, boring. And here's what you're finding out. You're finding out if you're a leader, boy, people aren't really excited about that. You might be finding out as a leader, you're not really excited about it. I'm gonna tell you something. It's a cakewalk for the people that had a clear mission, that had a clear vision, had clear principles, because every single day they are obsessed with the process. You know, here's my suggestion that I wanna make to you right now. Screw your goals, get rid of them. Because if you're not tracking to your goals right now, which most people are based on what they set, well, I just proved it. It's not working because here's what I would challenge you with. Are you tracking every day to the exact process that's required? Are you doing the things every day that are uncomfortable, that are mundane, that are boring, that you've been told over and over and over again to do over and over and over again? Or did you just rely on talent? And did you just take those outcomes and you know something? It's because I'm hitting my goals. Well, you know what? I'm gonna tell you, a huge percentage of the people that hit their goals, they were a product of the environment. They were not a product of their process. I said it, it's real. So here's what I'd say. You know what? Question me by testing me. What is the specific process that you must follow on Monday? on Tuesday, on Wednesday, every single day. And I don't care what it is. You want to have a nice butt and a six pack? Okay, well, great. That's out there, wonderful. What's it require every minute? Because your problem isn't how clear your goals are. Your problem is you're not taking 
the micro steps, making the micro commitments and keeping them every day and getting the kind of victories. And when you don't, when an outcome doesn't turn out the way that you wanted to, when you don't get the recruit that you wanted, when you don't get the sale, you don't get the listing, whatever it may be, you're so emotionally attached to the outcome that it throws you off. You get reactionary, you tweak, you abandon the process, get obsessed with the process because the process oriented people that are willing to do the things that are uncomfortable, they're willing to have boundaries, they're willing to have restrictions, they're willing to be managed and led super intensely right now, those are the ones that are gonna blow, blow past their goals. Like blow past their goals. So, I don't know, I think your goals are getting in the way. I think they're an issue. I think you need to abandon your goals, you need to obsess with the process. It's proven time and again.